Hello people, in this video we are looking at this general anatomy topic connective tissue. Basically connective tissue is something that is, uh, what is tissue first of all? It's a group of cells, right? Uh, which have similar structure or function, that is tissue, right? Group of cells. Now what is connective? Connective means it connects something, right? It connects or it can support something. It is uh, protecting something. So that is connective tissue. It's a very, very generic term, guys. So anyways, understand that there is uh, loose connective tissue. Then you have dense connective tissue like collagen, etc. Right? You have dense and uh, then you have specialized connective tissue like bone and blood. Okay? So, uh, what you will not understand is uh, connective tissue means it's such a generic term. So, you have even compact bone, bone itself or blood which is a liquid or lymph can all, uh, these can be connective tissues. So, look at this one here. <coughs> so, connective tissue you have loose connective tissue, dense connective tissue and specialized connective tissue. Loose you have areolar tissue and adipose tissue. Dense you have collagen. In skin you have again dense connective tissue which is irregularly arranged. It is in the dermis. So uh, remember here you can see the skin, the dermis has the connective tissue. Okay. The epidermis is actually epithelial tissue. Then coming to uh, specialized connective tissue guys. Specialized connective tissue you have cartilage, bone and blood and also lymph. Please zoom here and come this side. So cartilage, bone, blood, lymph all these are also connective tissue and they are specialized connective tissue. So you will have to remember this. It's kind of difficult, I understand, to understand this concept. So this is where you have cartilage, isn't it? And then uh, you, you, here you have articular cartilage. Bone you have here, it is also a specialized connective tissue. And blood is also a connective tissue, okay? So basically it's a general, it's a general type of tissue, okay? And uh, what will it do? It will support, it will bind, it will protect. Okay. And um, what else? It has cellular and extracellular components. What are the components? It, it has uh, components. You can see here it has cellular like RBCs. Like let's take example of blood. Okay. RBCs, WBC, cellular components are there. And then non-cellular or extracellular components can be there. Extra cellular components can be there like some matrix isn't it what are the extra cellular components like fibers okay and then fibers ground substance ground substance ground substance okay all these are uh, extracellular components can be there okay we are just giving example here if you take the example of blood you will have rbcs wbcs and platelets etc lymphocytes that's also wbcs and you will have uh, extracellular components like ground substance etc okay where in, in this case what can it be it can be plasma you also call it as serum. Basically, one of them have com clotting factors the others don't doesn't have okay so then uh, what else Guys, skin, skin, uh, what is skin, guys, see here, the skin is an organ, okay, it has connective tissue, okay, which is in the dermis, which is the ir dense, irregular type of connective tissue, did you catch that, okay, so basically it is coming from uh, mesoderm, they are saying, it's mesodermal in origin, and it has some functions like support, bind, protect, okay, so you, you will have to give the classification, See, uh, cells can be fibroblasts, okay, fibroblasts, macrophages, plasma cell, uh, that is nothing but lymphocyte, mast cell, fat cell, pigment cell, okay, now let's go on. So, matrix, um, uh, sorry, the extracellular matrix, yeah, <clears throat> this is extracellular matrix, I would like to call it as, okay, fibers, fibrous and non-fibrous, they are dividing this again into Fibrous and non-fibrous. Fibrous, are you able to see? Fibrous and non-fibrous, they are saying. So, let's go with the classification. The textbook says fibrous uh, elements are uh, collagen, okay, elastin, reticulin, okay. Collagen, elastin, reticulin. So, what is collagen? Collagen is a extracellular component of the connective tissue. Wow! If you have to say it like that, no? It will be very technical. <clears throat> Non-fibrous element is formed by ground substance. 
So what are the fibrous components of the extracellular matrix of the connective tissue? Collagen, elastin and reticulin. Wow. Um, commonly words that we use are uh, collagen, uh, type 1, type 2, etc. Bone has type 1 collagen. Cartilage has type 2 collagen. That's all we can say. And how to remember that, you know, like, uh, like this, see? <clears throat> see. Collagen. You have type 1 collagen. That is O-N-E. That will be there in bone. Because bone has 1, right? O-N-E. Then type 2 collagen. T-W-O. And it is like cartilage. Okay, something like that. They will say cartilage. So that is a way to remember. <clears throat> so what is collagen? It is a fibrous component of the extracellular matrix of the connective tissue. In bone you have type 1 collagen and cartilage you have type 2 collagen. Okay. And there are other types of collagen also. Look at this. Type 1 collagen where and all you will find. <clears throat> bone, skin, dentin, cornea, blood vessels, tendon, fibrocartilage. Type 2 in cartilaginous tissue. So type 2 nobody is sharing. Only cartilage looks like. Type 3 is again in skin, ligaments, blood vessels, internal organs. Type 4 is basement membrane. Type 5 is blood vessel wall. Which is endothelium. No, no. Wall. Wall is outside. Okay. So that's very confusing. But look at this. Mnemonic. Type 1 is in bone. Type 2 cartilage. Type 3 is blood vessel. Type 4 is floor, basement membrane. 4 for floor. Okay. Did that get too much guys for you? Anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. Three is what did they say? Blood vessel. All three layers, something like that they wanted to remember. Type four is like floor. Four is like floor. So it is basement membrane. Okay. Anyways, this class is not about collagen. It is about uh, connective tissue guys. Wake up. So, uh, we are looking at uh, collagen. Okay. Basically, we got deviated. We were looking at connective tissue. Uh, we had we were looking at the components of connective tissue, right? So we found that they have cellular components and extracellular. In that fibrous, you have <coughs> under fibrous, you have collagen. Very good. Now let us go to types of connective tissue, which you have already seen. Remember this diagram, you already have seen it, right? Connective tissue, you have loose connective tissue, dense and specialized. Actually, dense irregular itself is becoming specialized, okay? They are calling it as specialized. Where is our notes? Yeah, here. So, you write, okay, loose, dense and specialized. Loose under loose, you have areolar, which is under the skin. Adipose also is fat tissue under the skin only, subcutaneous fat, etc. Dense, you have regular, irregular. Uh, under irregular only, you have specialized. That's separate category. They are putting as specialized. Cartilage, bone and blood, okay? Regular example, you can take tendon, etc. Where the collagen is very neatly arranged looks like. So, go back here to the classification. So, you have loose, under loose you have areolar tissue and adipose tissue. The, uh, the cells are loosely arranged, okay. That is areolar and adipose tissue. What are the examples for loose connective tissue? Say it, say it, areolar and adipose. Very good. Say the examples for dense. Dense you have actually regular and irregular. Under regular you have tendons, ligaments, etc. And irregular you have in the skin you have the dermis which has the dense connective tissue which is irregularly arranged. The same dense connective tissue which is irregular can also be called as specialized. Okay. And that will be cartilage, bone, blood, lymph, etc. Lymph is also a specialized connective tissue you can say. Okay. Why we, why we should not discriminate against lymph. Okay. So we have added lymph here. Then blood can be specialized connective tissue. So is lymph. Lymph is also yet another fluid in the body. Okay, now coming to cartilage. So cartilage, guys, look at this. Where will you find cartilage? Cartilage, yeah, here. Uh, this is the cartilage. It provides flexibility, right? And cartilage can later calcify. Look at this articular cartilage, right? Bone. Bone is a specialized connective tissue. What is blood? Blood is a fluid connective tissue. It helps in transporting substances. Very good. So we are done with the types of connective tissue. Very good. In this photo, same thing only they have shown, okay? If you want to understand this photo, you have areal R, adipose tissue, dense connective tissue, compact bone, blood. Okay, same thing only they have shown in this photo, okay? Now we will go to the next heading under connective tissue. What is the next heading under connective tissue? Functions. Functions we have already written. It is a packing material. It will provide support. It will uh, form a... Uh, uh, support. Basically, you can understand what is tendon. Tendon connects the... Go back here. What is the difference between tendon and ligament? Tendon will connect muscle to bone. Ligament will connect bone to bone. Okay. Tendon will connect muscle to bone. 
muscle to bone ligament will connect bone to bone so they are also helping in support okay then um it's saying that it provides the superficial fascia deep fascia everything is provided by this interestingly it is saying superficial fascia and deep fascia are actually connective tissues okay anyways superficial fascia is around, uh, below the skin and uh, deep fascia is much uh, deep right <clears throat> so it will provide additional surface etc for attachment so that we already told you like uh, a uh, muscle tendon etc isn't it so uh, here you can say something about the um, cells like special cells like macrophages and all what they will work on they will do scavenging work they will do antibacterial they will give you immunity some extra extra things they are writing which is not directly related to connecting tissue i would say right it is more about blood etc and they told you it has um, i think this much is enough see if you go on writing right you can write a lot of things right for each of these examples what you can write the uh, uh, functions of these right you can write a whole uh, chapter about the functions right what is adipose tissue it will protect fat will protect you from heat uh, it will give you uh, insulation etc right contour of the body tendons ligaments support skin skin itself has so many functions cartilage articulation bone bone will help you in structure movement blood so many functions so all that you will write okay so we are done with um, connective tissue okay so connective tissue you saw a general anatomy topic it's a general type of tissue mesodermal origin functions components of it types of connective tissue you have looked at okay uh, we have looked also looked at the functions yeah that we already told you uh, that's all is general anatomy topic guys uh, bye bye Guys, we have to cover a little more terminologies. Okay, ligament. We told you it cover uh, connects uh, bone to bone, right? So basically, this will provide stability to these bones, right? Stability to joints, etc. So there are a lot of uh, ligaments. When you can uh, look at the uh, knee joint, okay, look at this uh, example here. We'll bring it here and here. Look at this. This is the knee joint. Okay, this is the which bone is this, guys? Tibia, which is this one? This is fibula, and this is your femur. Okay, uh, zoom out, please. So this is the. uh femur okay so three bones that you are seeing here at least you should identify the bones femur tibia and this is fibula right uh, so here there are a lot of jo uh, uh, ligaments so many ligaments okay this is a collateral ligament and then here you have cruciate ligament right this is also a collateral ligament so this is a collateral ligament on this side on the lateral side this is on the medial side these are cruciate ligaments collateral ligaments cruciate ligaments all these are going to help in the stability of the joint right and here you have something between the fibula and the tibia what is that Okay, and anyway, so you got the concept, right? So if there is, um, uh, you know, usually what will happen? This anterior cruciate ligament of the knee will get injured. Okay, so you should know all that ligament injury also comes in orthopedics. Okay, so that is the clinical anatomy. There is yet another terminology here in this textbook that is talking about raphe. Okay, what is raphe? Raphe is basically a um, fibrous band. Okay, remember, and it will be linear. So easy to understand. Okay, it's linear. Look at this. This is raphe. It is linear. what exactly is happening in this line at this line lot of muscles and all are coming and inserting okay so you can remember some muscles are coming and inserting some muscles are coming and attaching especially your rectus muscles right imagine your abdomen okay this is your abdomen give me a beautiful pink okay this is an abdomen of yours okay your front abdomen touch your stomach okay the muscles you can imagine they are attaching here in the middle central fibrous band it is forming and it's inserting this is the raphe it is a linear fibrous band formed by interdigitation of the tendinous or aponeurotic end of muscles the muscles uh, aponeurotic end or the tendinous um, uh, um ends of the muscles are coming and attaching here what do you mean by tendon and what do you mean by aponeurosis what is the difference tendon is something like it attaches let's say this is a muscle okay uh, this is a muscle this is a tendon this is the tendon of the muscle it will attach the muscle to the bone okay the same thing uh, this uh, tendon the kind of thing only if it is uh, stretched like this okay it becomes an aponeurosis it's more flat and wide okay that is an aponeurosis like you have palmar aponeurosis in your palm etc so these are the things the tendon and the aponeurotic end of the muscle will go and attach to this fibrous raphe so what will happen everything muscles is attaching there similarly in your pharynx right this is your uh, behind your uh, neck okay this is the posterior view i'm guessing so this is your uh, so here you have the 
line you can see that is the raphe that's all okay the same thing where the muscles are inserting that is raphe so here you uh, here they are showing you where all the constrictor muscles of the pharynx they are attaching so similarly you have your um, look at this this is pyramidalis muscle it says anyways don't focus on that look at the central line here the middle line what do you call that line where your rectus abdominis etc are all attaching here in the center you can see this this is linea alba this line is very important guys why you know because whenever you are doing any surgery abdominal surgery right this is where you want to be um, you will know this is linea alba you want to separate the muscles here etc if required I, what i'm trying to tell you is that this etc are giving you strength for your abdominal muscles right it is uh, protecting the organs inside okay this is a linea alba tendinous fibrous raphe that runs vertically down the midline of the abdomen linea alba it extends between the inferior limit of the sternum and the pubis separating the rectus abdominis abdominis muscle okay so that is your linea alba where is linea alba i ask you where is linea alba it is there here in your abdomen right why are we not able to draw here you have you have the linea alba okay and uh, uh, <clears throat> what is what does it what is it it's a raphe fibrous raphe okay hope you have understood guys all this uh, terminologies i hope you have understood guys clinical anatomy look at this collagen diseases you can have some people can have collagen diseases they are actually adding uh, i would say go with this one okay rheumatoid arthritis lupus systemic lupus erythematosus disseminated lupus erythematosus scleroderma right uh, uh, then you should know about uh, a uh, duputens contracture where you have the contracture of the palmar aponeurysis right duputens contracture have you seen it guys uh, look at this this image i think you have already seen in the previous video look at this how the how the hand you can see the these two small fingers how they have folded this is because of the uh, thickened tissue here okay so that is why uh, the palmar fascia has thickened and also this is duputens contracture can happen with smokers etc then you have another thing called as marfan's syndrome in these people uh, they'll have like long fingers long legs they'll be tall and uh, they have like very long fingers okay you can remember they'll have aortic problems also okay so they'll have excessive height what will have what will marfan's be guys they'll be so tall excessive height um they'll have um, heart disease they can have problem with the aorta okay because collagen collagen problem where is all this collagen Uh, blood vessel your light so obviously your aorta so you understood right so the marfan's can affect the aorta they can have heart disease okay then what else you will write a lot of clinical anatomy guys because what have you looked at in this video you have looked at almost everything that is there in our body bone cartilage um, blood everything skin so you can write lot of clinical anatomy okay So guys in this video you have looked at uh, connective tissue general anatomy you looked at the word what ligament is what raphe is you have seen collagen is the ground substance right in connective tissue you have looked at that you looked at some disorders rel related to collagen like uh, marfan's you saw uh, sle rheumatoid arthritis right then what else did you see some terminologies you have looked at in this video guys uh, yeah scleroderma duputens contracture so all this uh, clinical anatomy also you have looked at about the collagen okay so uh, hope you have understood something guys we wanted to look at connective tissue basically hope you have understood the types of connective tissue etc uh, connective tissue like we told you is a very generic term so you should get very uh, accustomed to it okay bye bye